Had you known a guy that was just fine, well put together, had a nice job, made great money, educated, nice body, nice teeth, and swag, but there was just one thing, he was married. Well, this is my story, and I was soon to find out that it wasn't my only problem. because he's too big. Girl, send him out with that's no too big for me, honey. Girl, I'm gonna have to do that when I'm drunk or something because it is too big. It tears me up every time. Child, stop. I would get it every time, every chance I could, girl, for real. Anyway, I'm serious, for real. I'm gonna need surgery or something if I continue dating. I mean, anyway, tell me about your love life. <laughs> girl. It's okay, but it could be better. This sneak and creep with this married man is torture, girl. It's like I never have it all to myself. What? Married man? Married to who? Girl, speak of the devil. Good afternoon, everyone. What up, Keith? So you came with Ari, bro? Yes, I got finished up at the office, and I thought I'd come by and see if you could fit me in. Oh, uh, yeah. Well, I'm almost done with this, and I'll get you next, bro. Okay. All right. Why do you say speak of the devil? <laughs> because... Watch this. Hey, Mr. Martin. Hey, Kennedy. How many times do I have to tell you to call me Keith? My bad. Force of habit. Let's make it when we try to break. Okay. That reminds me. I have something I need to give you. Oh. What might that be? I don't open this until you get home. <laughs> Why is that? Just trust me. I wouldn't steer you wrong. I know. It just got me curious. Girl, you did not tell me that Keith Martin was your boo. <laughs> Girl, you know I just do not follow into information like that. See, now I see a dilemma. I wouldn't want to give that up either. I know, right? He wants, he dons, and keep this kid in everything Barbie wish she had. Okay? Okay, girl. Shoot. Well, if it was me, I'd be that thing on the side. You hear me? <laughs> It can't be that bad, is it? <laughs> no, it's not that bad, but the hiding, faking, and sneaking around, it just ain't me, girl. You know me. I'm not afraid who I am. <laughs> but that's a different story. I'm done. You like it? Oh, girl, you outdid yourself this time. <laughs> Fabulous. Thank you. I'm done for the day. I have a date tonight. Date? Since when do you have a date? Girl, sissy ass and I said yes. Oh, I'm mad at you. So where might you be going on this date? I don't know. He said it's a surprise. Mm, surprise? Well, I go wherever that man has in store. Oh, because he is fine. Okay? Has a nice body. Mm -hmm. And he's rich, girl. And he is... So damn charming. <laughs> I know, right? Now you see why I'm so comfortable. Um, thank you, girl. <laughs> Have fun. Thank you. So, uh, can you done for the day? Yep, I'm done for the day. I have a date tonight. A date? For real? <laughs> yep, a date. <laughs> so, what do you have planned this weekend? Well, uh, we're going down to Houston, Texas for the All-Star Weekend, and it's going to be popping. Oh, yeah, I forgot it was All-Star Weekend. Well, y'all be safe and y'all be careful. You too. Enjoy your date. Mm -hmm. See you Tuesday. Yes, enjoy your date. <laughs> you know I'll enjoy my date, mister. What'd I tell you? <laughs> I'm sorry. Of course I have it. I'm 
so in love with you. Mistakes I made a few, but you say you make them too. Hey, you guys, sir. I'm going to see Keith. Keith Martin, that is. Yeah, right this way. Enjoy the weather today? Yes, I am. Awesome. Here you are, sir. You start with a sweet tea or a bottle of wine this evening? Let's do a glass of red wine. Red wine? Sweet tea and Sprite with a little ice cream. Awesome. Here we go. Well, thank you. This is really, really nice. I never ate here before. So what's on your mind? Well, you know, prior to the day, you had told me to not make any plans. And we got to a big argument that I had. Don't you think it's kind of strange? Strange? Nah, I think it's romantic. I thought you'd think the same. <laughs> yeah, if I know how to take it. How to take it? What is that supposed to mean? Am I going to be a little secret? Are you going to mix who you are and be free to live? You live a well cushioned life. If I might add, you don't you don't want for anything. The condo you live in, I pay for it. The brand new car you drive, I bought it. And I pay all your utilities. And I give you ample amount of spending money to do whatever you want. What more do you want, Kennedy? I want to be able to walk in public. To the man who I'm relationship with. Who claims he loves me. You knew my situation when you came into this. And now you want to complain and change the rules and everything? This is not the right time. This is an election year. Oh yeah, and before that your mother was sick. And your wife was pregnant. I simply think you want your cake and eat it too. That's not fair. What What is that supposed to mean anyways? It means you want to live a state, cozy wet life, and live a secret gay life. Let's talk about what's right. You think it's right that I have to go around hearing about you hanging out with other people. But I can't do anything about it given my situation. You need to be a little more appreciative of what you have. What do I have, Keith? You have me. And all the benefits of me. Sure, you can't broadcast it to the world. But this should be enough right now. We'll see. That's the problem. Just bear with me. I promise I'll make some changes. Okay. This is supposed to be a nice romantic dinner. Can we not ruin it without us arguing and bickering? And just enjoy each other's company. Okay, that's why I love you more than I love myself. I couldn't do this with nobody else. My girl, my girl, be so special, girl. Stay on the phone with you, never get tired. You know, when I'm running low, baby, you're my energizer. Maybe I'm a little tipsy. Well, thanks for catching me. That's what I'm here for, is to catch you when you fall. <laughs> oh, really? Yes, I told you I'd always be here for you and take care of you. <laughs> well, keep your promise and take care of me. Alright, so, Kim, what seems to be the problem? <coughs> well, I don't know, Doc. It's like I'm always tired. My body just seems to ache. Um, I think I might have the flu. Deep breath for me. Once again. Kennedy, actually, your vitals are normal, um, so it's definitely not the flu. Mm -hmm. But what we'll do is we'll run some tests on you. Mm -hmm. You should get those results about 24 to 48 hours. Mm -hmm. But in the meantime, we'll get you some antibiotics. Hopefully, get you feeling better. Well, thank you because I hate feeling sick. It just makes me feel so bad and cranky. Oh. <laughs> yeah, I totally understand. But like I said, get that prescription filled, make sure you see the nurse on your way out, and look for those results in the mail, okay? Okay. Well, all right. Look for those results in the mail, and if you have any other questions, feel free to call me, okay? All right. Okay. All right. Take care of yourself. Thank you.
Yes, honey. This stuff is rough. Uh -huh. mm. I'm feeling. I feel a little better. Oh, girl, I'm so glad because mm. this needed to be done. Mm. Girl, I see. I'm about to fix you up. Thank you. I just came in for you today. Probably need to open it up. Hello. I need to meet with you. I'm in a really kitchen head right now. Now, can you meet with me now? Okay. Thanks. Girl. I'll be right back. What? What's wrong? Girl. I'll be right back, I promise. Uh, hold on, you, you just gonna leave me? Girl, I'll stop right back. Here. What's wrong with you? What was so important, Keith? You gonna tell me what's wrong with you? Just tell me what's so important so I can get back to work. Alright, well since you have an attitude already, I tell need to tell you- me what? Let me speak and quit cutting me off. Like we have something so important to say, now you're stalling. You know it's an election year. My publicist, Ted, he thinks that it'd be best if I make more appearances with my family, watch more of what I'm doing, so I might be a little MIA for a while. But no matter what, I'm still gonna take care of you. <laughs> oh, really? Is that how you do? Speak about when you're ready? When you want to live a lie? <laughs> or when you want to look good? <laughs> Tell me. And be honest. Are you seeing your purposes? Why would you say that? Just answer the question. S seeing's not the word I'd use. Oh, seeing's not the word you use. What is the word you use? We hung out. Hung out, huh? How many of those have you hung out with? There are a few others, but I don't love them like I do you. Why well, I should have known. You just give me the excuse that why it was never a good time. It's not an excuse. It's not a line. It just hasn't been the right time, but I do love you. Just get out of my car. Just get out of my, just get out of my car. You don't love me. You don't even love yourself. You don't even do that well. You have your family and your other boy toys in the HIV you gave me. I'm done. <laughs> So you see, I love for all the right reasons. I just fell for the wrong guy. It just goes to show you, you can't judge a book by its cover. And when someone can't be honest about who they are and what they are doing, you can never trust them, no matter what, and you should always keep your guard up. Met a mess.